Hey guys, this is Godzilla 2010, and apparently I can't play Smash today, so I'm just gonna do Godzilla Tron Monsters Melee. Because it's another fighting game I'm good at. Uh, so let's just start off with Mr. King Dora. Oh yeah, by the way, I have this on hard mode, and the CPUs are still terrible. So, yeah, so it is on hard mode, okay, good. But we're still bad, so... Whatever. <laughs> you know, probably keep it on day. So, yeah, you're going to notice that the CPUs in this game aren't the greatest. And this is the GameCube version, which people say is like, the harder version, which really gets me concerned about how easy the Xbox version would be. But oh, whatever. Okay. So I'm doing a Mitchell King Door Ditto and the CPU has not done anything but throwing a rock at me. Which really doesn't do a whole lot. So I'm just going to throw you over here. Oh yeah, look, I can get another one of these taser things. I don't know what they're called. I just, you know, use them to get this little combo thing. The slowest combo in the world. But whatever. And... One more. And that should hit. Yep. Can I grab them? Yep. Marv scrap range right there. Actually, to be, fair, to be fair, I might as well play Marv. I need to mod Marv into this game. Okay. I might as well just mod in all the farm characters. For in Smash. Well, actually, Kamui would fit in pretty well, because he can transform into a dragon, so, whatever. Um, and, okay, I should have blocked that. I'm apparently very stupid too, but whatever. Okay. No, you're not going to- ow. Okay. Oh. Thanks for showing how bad I am in the game, and I'm going to kill you. Let's see. Position is right, and very convenient. We should be able to get. Oh, it's not fully charged, but it's okay. And let's just do the rage attack now. Because the CPUs are programmed to stall out your, you know, like, rage timer, so it's not really worth getting, like, a little bit extra damage. So just kind of use a rage attack whenever you can get close enough. That's how I usually use it. And what was it? Yep, you're not gonna do anything. If you don't decide to block it, even though I would kill you, and I don't know why you didn't do that. But whatever. You're just a bad CPU. You can't really do much. Okay. And yeah, you decide to jump right into that. You're also <laughs> not making the right decisions. And one more. Unless he, you know, unless the UFO decides to spawn in and ever one of those energy power-ups. But whatever. Okay. And I should be spaced out, right? Yep. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, he's got rage! Well, get over here. Ow. Alright, need to- ah, uh, okay, why didn't I just block that? Whatever. No. I could've jumped out of the way, but I don't care. I have enough health to deal with it. So, the difference between Mr. King Ghidorah and King Ghidorah is obviously, Mr. King Ghidorah has the tasers and he has a better, um, shield. Which is great, otherwise there, there's no other difference. But those two things are really useful. They're great tools, they really just help out a lot. They get a lot of extra damage. And, you know, the shield of course does, you know, it's really useful because it can just take a lot of attacks and it really doesn't, like, you don't take any damage at all. Like, destroy his rage attack, you don't take any damage. Um, a lot of rage attacks you don't take any damage with, you know, Retro King Dora's shield. So, that's of course very useful. 
And, you know, you can absorb energy attacks and using the heal. Everybody can do this little dance thing. Yeah. But still, like, those two tools just helps them out a lot. And I'm not doing about Ditto again because that was really boring. I expected more from Mr. King Ghidorah, but whatever. There was not much there. Um, hopefully I get a character that... Actually, no, I'm not... I'm just gonna play fair and not use the most overpowered character from the game. Let's see, I'm gonna use... Maybe, like, the third or second most overpowered character in the game. <laughs> Seems fair enough. But, yeah, the problem with Destroy is he's just a little bit too slow, and so if you shield his attacks, he's very punishable. And this leaves him wide open. But, yeah, his... Energy attacks are very overpowered. His laser horn can be very much spammed. But his energy... Okay, stop giving me dittos. I don't want to keep doing this. But yeah, his normal energy attack is really bad, so I just do the tap version. The tap version is a lot better. It's just, the energy version has such low range. Now, I forgot what his, his different grabs were. Okay. Right. So unlike most characters, Destroyer actually has a reason to use well, like one grab over and over again. Because one of his... Um, throws actually, you know, you lose energy from using it. So if you're out of energy, if you want to save it, then just use the other one. So it was actually like, you know, a thought process you have to go through. But yeah, so let's see. Ah, oh, I didn't get him there. Okay, that was stupid of you to do that. I could have easily blocked that, but I'm not going to because I, I don't know. I'm just bad. Okay. So. Do that. And get up. Get up attack. Yep. Too predictable. Get up attack again. Oh, you're just gonna roll away. Okay. Okay. Well, I'm gonna get this health power up and you're not going to. Because you're bad. Oh, you're just going to do this? Okay. That was definitely a lot of trade. Because, you know, I had more health and so I just didn't do absolutely anything for him. So, yeah. Um, get over here. Uh oh. I was going to try to, like, win his jump attacks, but I just jumped into his attack. Hi, Ironic. Okay. Can you stop him out? Yep. I know they programmed you to spam it, but come on. You're being a little rude here. And those huge hitboxes. What am I, shulking now? Well, I am really feeling it, so. Um, okay, kick. Or oh, destroy his attacks. Like air attacks. Whatever, I'm just getting juggled here, so get up attack? Ah. Oh, he's not gonna let me do it. Okay. Very predictable. And I'm just gonna do this. And then you're going to get hit with this. And I'm going to heal your get up attack because you're the most predictable CPU ever. And you're dead. Yep. Okay. That was too easy. All according to plan. Get up attack. Can you stop doing that? That's so predictable. Nobody's going to fall for it. You do it like every single time. Who falls for that? It's so obvious. When you roll towards someone, it's pretty obvious they're going to try to hit him with a get up attack. So why don't you do a mix up and actually be good? My gosh, like, he just spams get up attack and it's not doing anything. Haven't you learned by now? You're not programmed, like, adapting into your AI or anything? My gosh. Okay. Well, I kind of had that coming. I just complained about him using get up attack too much and there I go and use get up attack. Get punished for it. That makes sense. Okay. Goodbye. Get up attack. Ah, of course you do. No. Ow. No. Got to attack again? Well, of course. Like, why wouldn't you? You only see it usually like around the 50th time now. But yeah, if you're actually like playing against someone, never do the same thing over and over again. It just gets really predictable. And like anything, if it's right, it can be punished. So, keep that in mind. Unless it's that move, because that can never be punished. So anyways, yeah, that was, well, it was pretty much a kicking door, but you punish it, but, or you can at least survive it, but, you know. Hmm. 
Yeah, this gets... I just want to go to GFS this speed in the tournament to see if players are actually this bad or if, you know, this game just has really easy AI. I just want to know. Okay, let's see. Who should I play now? Um... Yeah, let's just play Rushdown. I main Fox and Smash 4, so... A Rushdown in this game should work. Not really. Because... Well, Fox is a late late. Rodian just doesn't have health. <laughs> he just dies. So, yeah, being a Rushdown in this kind of game can be a little bit harder. Okay, are you, are you serious? No. No. I'm not gonna deal... I'm not gonna deal with this. I'm not going to deal with constant dittos. I'm sorry, but this is stupid. It gets to a point where I don't want to keep doing dittos. I select random for a reason. Because I don't care on who I'm going to fight. So let's put Rodan again. And have Pecom be a random. If it's Rodan again, I'm really going to just rage quit here. I'm serious now. And who is it? Finally! Another character! Okay. Yep. Seems legit. Here's a rock. Lol. Okay, time to rush down. <laughs> okay. Oh. It's a trap. Nope. Like, it's just too short to hit me. Why did you even bother? You're a fraud. Okay. No. I'm roading. I can do that kind of stuff. I can just jump because I feel like it. Okay. 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 That is brain damage, really? Okay. Okay, my friend. Hitboxes! Let's go. Hitboxes again. Nothing is going to ever make sense in this game. Yep. That's exactly what I wanted in the fighting game. Okay. Rock Grab didn't really do a whole lot, so... I'm just going to try the other one. Um, or get Rage. That's a good option. Right, you gotta space out where these jumps. That can be kind of hard at moments. Um, let's see. How much does your other pro do? Okay, not much either. Yeah. Hmm. Let me guess, you're going to do the- Oh! Alright, I have- I'm too used to playing Magic Kingdom Door, you can just shield anything. You don't even need to cry- Like, you know, crouch down to get some of those attacks. Blocked. Which is another good use of a shield. It just covers everything. So... <laughs> okay. Well, apparently I don't need to crouch, you know, block that one, so... Yeah. Okay. Oh! Yeah. That's what I mean by Rodan. Like, being a rush down in this game just doesn't work sometimes. Yeah. I didn't go too well. Hmm. Okay. Lol. Okay. Well, here's a rock. Oh, okay. Okay. Where are you going? <laughs> like, actually, where are you going there? What was your plan? Okay. Oh, thanks. I'm the building. And... I'm going to... Oh! Darn. I didn't actually do a whole lot, so that's that's perfectly okay. No, well, I'm a Rodan. Okay. I don't know why I tried Vex attacks. So those usually don't do too good. Okay. Well, Rodan can't really punish us a whole lot because his jump is just it's just hard to space. You need to be like right above him for him to come out, and that's just not easy to punish when you're playing Rodan. He needs to space out his jump landing, so... Hmm. 
Yeah, I'm being a little choppy in my speech because I don't have the terminology, like, you know, I don't have it, like, ingrained in my brain yet, so. Like, I know what it is, I just, you know, saying them. I'm not used to commentating, like, you know, this game. I just think. Okay! I have nothing to say there, but I'm never going to play Rodan again. Like, what happened? He didn't attack it, I just flew into it, and it just fell apart. Yeah. Um. I have nothing to really say there. Okay. Let's see. Okay, so this should be aligned enough. Yep, okay. And... Is that going to bounce him? Yep. And... Yeah! Got a little bit of a trickle. I don't know, Goji Fan's pretty good at getting those, but... It's just not my kind of thing. I guess I'm more of like a defensive player, which is really useful in this game, for some reason. Well, I guess it's because you can't break shield. Hmm. And there's not really a whole lot of still buffer. Okay. Okay, I need to get out of this. Right. So this should, yep, work out. Come on. Alright, I really need to start jabbing, it's a lot faster. There we go. Okay, we're really looking him into neutral quite a bit. And, there we go. That should... Hmm. Okay. Oh, he jumped. Yeah, I just don't have the reaction time to jump away from someone's grab. I just really don't have the reaction time for it. But whatever. The CPU is like, and that make it really obvious when they're going to go for a grab. Like, it's too obvious. But you need to attack them. Like, we'll do a part of a jab, but then we'll just stand there. And, like, see that you're, like, blocking. So then... It just makes it so obvious, like, okay, I can see what you're seeing, like, okay, this guy's shielding, so I should probably grab. But if you take that amount of time, like, just to do it, it makes it way too obvious, and you're going to go for it. So I'm, like, okay, so if someone's walking on, you should definitely try grabbing, but don't make it extremely obvious when you go going for a grab, because that makes it punishable. Like, all things, if it's right, it can be punished, it's the most obvious part of a fighting game ever. Okay, and, ah, oh, I'm, I'm out of shield, hmm. That's one problem, but I guess it'd be a little unbalanced if I had anything to mount that shield. But I can still block things, so. Yeah, why do we be adding shield breaks into save the earth? Like, shielding isn't really that overpowered, that overpowered in this game, necessarily. But yeah, the shields break way too easy, though, in save the earth. I just don't like it, really. Okay, that's why you don't spam that move, it's way too punishable. Has anyone ever realized, like, how much, like, the sky in the background moves? Like, it moves really fast. So how fast is this, you know, like, station rotating? Just think about that. Like, look how fast everything just flies by. Yeah, that's way, it's just so fast. Like, is that how they do the artificial gravity on here? Whatever. So let's not get, you know, killed here. That was a big mistake last time, being stupid. Like, I'm talking, so I'm not as focused. Okay. Then I'm going to jab you. Well, not really jab, but you get what I mean. I don't even need- oh. I forgot, I'm supposed to attack from the mountain. I kinda forgot about that part. Okay, whatever, we're still winning really easily. Oh, I don't have a space. Or maybe I do, okay. Okay, too obvious. And... Darn, missed. Okay, and, oh, just don't look it up. It's actually a smart move. 
Let's draw a lane and we'll get up. It's kind of hard to punish. It can still be punished, but it's definitely like the safest get up option. Nope. Too obvious. Okay. <clears throat> okay, so I'm gonna go give us rage. Um, easy. I don't know what he's doing right now, so I'm just going to hit him with it. Okay. He has no idea how to get me right now. I'm just gonna hide here. Okay. Is this actually working? I just do not to be stupid, but whatever. Hmm. What is a problem? Oh, I shoot way too early. My bad. Okay. And we should be able to finish you off now. As soon as we get, maybe never grab, and then... Okay. I was just waiting for him to do something. It's very stupid, so I can just do that. Okay. Get over there, and you're dead. One more time. Okay, I have seven minutes to kill this guy. I say that's plenty of time, so... Yeah, why do I have the timer going for so long? I have it for 10 minutes on the actual game. That's way too long for one of these matches. It does not take that long. Okay. Alright, got him. And let's just, let's just throw him and make it that rage. Make sure it doesn't despawn on us. Come on. There we go. And how oh, are gonna miss? Ah, darn it. My rage attack wounds. See? And why is this rage attack like that little spinny thing? That's not what it should be at all, like, okay, they had three games to get his rich attack right, and they didn't get it right once. It has to be a, like, ultimate cable, you know, combination where he has, like, a big hand and then two, like, four smaller ones, and he, like, picks you up and then throws you down. Exactly what he does in the movie, that should be what it is, but it's not, and your grab range is terrible. But, yeah, why do they, how can they not figure out how to do it right? It's so easy. And his grab should be at least... Like, it's, if it's not his rich attack, it should be at least his grab. There needs to be, like, a tether grab. Like, somewhere in this, you know, in these games. But there isn't. And it's just... Ah. Oh. He's probably represented, is what I'm trying to say. But, so, like, I understand, like, his melee attacks, you know, like, if he's a clone bear, but... Still. He has enough differences where he can, you know, come up with some parts of this moveset that's, you know, different than King Ghidorah. But still, like, like the made-up attacks, like the tasers, and like you know, okay, the two mechanics that make him good are completely made up. Like I wish he would be good because he was, you know, actually represented, and you know he was just good because of that. But I guess the tasers are kind of like smaller hands that come out. I don't you can even see. You can even see that they put it into his like design, but it's just there. It doesn't do anything, and I hate that. Okay, and you're dead. Easy enough. Okay. It only took like four minutes. That was way too easy. But yeah, I don't know how I messed up that first round. That was odd. Anyways, guys, like and subscribe. I can't talk. Yeah. Okay. Like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff, and I'll see you guys later.